2012 was when um, I left university and had been swimming for the last 10 years. Taking it far too seriously, thinking I was going to make it, I never did. So I started work, realised I hate the traffic, I'm going to start cycling to work. And uh, it just evolved from there to 2014, I think I did my first race. And then 2000, it was only 2017 I got on the track. The Commonwealth's getting a silver medal there. Well, it was a goal I set, an achievement I made, and it very rarely pays off like that. Dan approached me um, after the Commonwealth, really, with, well, the, the Charlie had left the team and they're looking for a slot, but we got a slot open and we'd have liked the opportunity to, to go for it, and yeah, I couldn't turn that down. They're like a strange bunch, um, but you know, I, I come into it and I feel like the stranger because they're all, even though they're four weirdos, they do all fit in together. So it's trying to fit into that, that dynamic. So while I'm enjoying it as a hobby, I make the best you can of it. Um, so in the short term, it's these World Cups, competing on an international stage against the best in the world, you couldn't, you couldn't turn it down. I couldn't fit in five years' time look back and go, I wish I'd done that. So I'm glad I dropped everything and I'm, I'm doing it. Um, and if the success comes through, then there's progression to be made whether it's aiming for a, a British cycling spot or um, you know, a professional team or those, those kind of long-term goals. I've not got one set out for me, but if the short-term progression is there, you never know. But at the end of this year, I've had a great time competing on the international stage and I go back to work next year. So what? It's, uh, it's been a good run.